Hey folks, Joe here. Hey, I've loved my career. You know, I retired after 32 years, you know, to retire to uh, some other interests that I had. Uh, I do some consulting now, as you know. But, um, you know, I was a plant manager. I, I held a VP position and, and retired really at the peak of my career and uh, truly loved my career. Don't, don't read into it that I was just putting in time and, and, and getting punished. I absolutely loved the game of, um, of being a plant manager and being a, an organizational leader. Uh, but nobody talks about the downsides. So I'm gonna give my five downsides um, uh, to being in a, in a senior management type role. Um, and my experience, like, like you know, is, has been plant management, um, large organization um, uh, leadership. So, hey, you know, I loved, I, I'll start with what I love. I mean, I really wanna be optimistic about it. The impact you can have on uh, rules, results, uh, people, your ability to improve the organization. I mean, I think that's partly in my DNA why I became an engineer is I, I see things and I have ideas to improve them and it's nice to be able to, um, you know, have that kind of influence. You know, not being a dictator, listening to others, selecting the best ideas, knocking down obstacles, making things happen. I, I really liked it. Um, winning and losing, you know, I love the, you know, what I did mattered. And there were days you lost and days you won. You know, years you won and years you lost. And that created excitement for me. Um, made going to work, uh, you know, fun. Fun and challenging and stretching me and, and doing things that uh, uh, I didn't think I could do. Um, you know, and I didn't think the organization could do. And other people didn't think the organization could do. So I love that. You know, and the people. The people's gotta be the best as aspect of, of being a leader is, you know, finding people in the organization, promoting them up, you know, giving them responsibility, seeing them do things that they never thought they were capable of. Capable of. And teams, the same thing. Uh, just dealing with the people, aligning, developing. Uh, that's what I really enjoy doing is, is the development of people. And partly what I'm doing uh, in retirement is uh, coaching and mentoring uh, people and helping them along. Um, you know, uh, you may notice in the text below, if you, uh, expand on the, uh, I think you hit read more. Um, I have some, um, uh, documents that can help you in your career. One is on, uh, creating a, just a, a killer resume. Uh, I've looked at a lot of resumes and <laughs> most of them just aren't good. So I said, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to make a difference here. I'm going to give, uh, you know, uh, give access to a document in my 34 years of experience to make a, uh, a great resume and also um, interview documents, how to, how to prepare and, and just do a fantastic job during the interview. Both those are in the in links below. Um, trying to make a difference, okay, folks? So, hey, on to the downsides, okay? You know, and, and they're, they're pretty substantial, actually. Um, there's no excuse, number one, no excuse for not getting the results, absolutely none, okay? Uh, some of that is okay, you know, but uh, if a tornado comes through and wipes out your plant, <laughs> that's not an excuse to miss the production goals for that month. You know, it, it's clear, it's binary, <laughs> but there's absolutely no excuse. Every lever is at your disposal. Um, you know, um, there are some good aspects to that, I, I'll be honest with you, but uh, everybody's got a boss, the tenure of... Uh, a plant managers typically isn't too long, you know, um, uh, because of uh, there's no excuse for not not uh, not winning the Super Bowl every single year. Okay, um, number two, a downside: uh, the short-term pressure, just enormous pressure to hit short-term goals, really at the expense of long-term. I mean, it, it's up to the intestinal fortitude of the plant manager to to drive those long-term goals despite all the pressure, all the pressure to hit short-term goals. And uh, the long-term goals, I I'm telling you, aren't, aren't stressed as much as you'd think. Uh, it's really this month, this quarter, um, uh, decisions and you know, kick the can down the road. And you think that the, you know, there's, there's a lot of similarities to government. Just keep ki kicking the can down the road. Don't make a decision, just get results today. Um, number three. Um, probably this should be, um, if I was ranking these, uh, which I'm not, um, the uh, safety and environmental risk. Um, you know, I worked at a large plant, large equipment, lots of hazards. Uh, it's just the daily pressure, uh, 24-7, 365, 
of somebody getting severely hurt, um, you know, permanently hurt, um, potentially to be killed, um, it, it, that's, that pressure is enormous and uh, a lot of people can't handle it. Um, the environmental risk as well. I mean, there's, I mean, every month I spent an hour and a half signing documents that saying we were doing everything right for the air, the water and the ground. And that's all that pressure is on the plant manager. The plant manager can then literally go to jail um, uh, for uh, not following environmental rules. Uh, so environmental safety rules, uh, that's a downside. <laughs> that's a downside. Probably if I can write off one thing I'd, re I'd rather not have in the job, it would be that. Um, number four, and I've alluded to this, the 24-7, 365 nature of the job. Part of this I loved when I was, you know, in my 30s, 40s, and, and early 50s. I, I, I just loved the, my hobby was my job. I loved thinking about it. I loved trying to improve. But, you know, I, I worked on email on Christmas Day. I was putting together budgets on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. And, and uh, it's just, it's 24 hours a, a day. I'd go to Yellowstone National Park here in the United States. And, you're, you know, you're, you're getting phone calls. Um, Despite delegating and despite uh, pushing responsibility down in the organization, you know, uh, issues would come up where my help was needed. And I was a master delegator, so don't, don't think I was a micromanager. <laughs> I'm the opposite of a micromanager. Uh, but there still was no escape. Sometimes it was, you know, uh, the president of the company would call and said, hey, I need a new budget in 48 hours. And, and you're, you're on a week's vacation, you know, uh, with your family. Uh, you know, again, I was able to manage that, but it's, uh, uh, that's a downside. That's a downside. You're, you're managing that. Number five, and, uh, you know, there's bureaucracy at every level. The meetings, the, the top-down micromanagement uh, from people that, you know, if it's input and ideas, uh, that's great. But the, the vast majority of them don't know the, the situation. They don't know reality. And they're telling you how to do things. Everybody's got to do this. You got a month to get it done, and it's it's a complete waste of time. It's not in your top twenty in priorities, but yet you're asked to do it. So that bureaucracy, you know. And I, I'm I'm going to use this word, and I may regret it. See my cat's tail walking by there. You know, egos, top leadership egos, um, where you have to, you know. I, I, you know, people at a certain level of the organization, they just want to be complimented all the time. And, and when you challenge them, um, you know, when you challenge them, sometimes you go missing. <laughs> doesn't matter your results. Doesn't matter um, if you're getting things done the right way, you're getting dramatic results. If you, if you don't uh, uh, cater to some people's egos, um, you know, you're out. And um, I hated that. You know, I did hate that. Uh, now, that wasn't every boss. That wasn't every, you know, VP, president that I worked for, but uh, higher than 50%, higher than 50%. So there you go. There's, those are my downsides to being uh, uh, in, here's my cat, in uh, uh, executive uh, leadership roles. Um, you know, thoroughly enjoyed it. Don't think I hated my job. I hear some of that in the comments. I loved my job, loved it. Wouldn't change anything about it. Loved the challenges of it, but there are some downsides to have your eyes wide open to if you're thinking this is your career. If you want some career advice, hey, drop me a line. I t give a free hour of, uh, of consulting at absolutely no charge. Love to talk to people. I talk to, you know, three to five people a week, every single week, uh, being their personal coach, and I give advice on resumes and, and on interviewing and how to um, help your career. This is Joe out.